Welcome to How to Yu-Gi-Oh! New Terms Scenario Look Slash Reveal Okay, so in this video, I'm just going to use some new AI. I'm going to use a new AI as my referee. I don't think I like the previous AI. I don't think I like how my AI was just, that AI was pronouncing things. So I'm going to program another one to, as a referee, to just teach you again. I think I'm going to stick with this AI from now on. Okay, with that being said, let's get on with the rest of the video. Can you explain to me how the word reveal works in Yu-Gi-Oh? Let me explain what reveal means. Reveal in Yu-Gi-Oh means showing the card in question which has the effect specified. So where this term was introduced was with the danger. Archetype. Okay, no look in front of you and you will see danger. Nessie. With the effect that states. You can reveal this card in your hand. Your opponent randomly chooses one card from your entire hand, then you discard the chosen card. Then, if the discarded card was not danger. Nessie. Special summon one, danger. Nessie, from your hand, and if you do, draw one card. If this card is discarded, you can add one, danger, card from your deck to your hand, except danger. Nessie, you can only use this effect of danger. Nessie, once per turn. What I have said here should be self-explanatory. But to simplify, how would you stop this card from activating? It's simple, have danger Nessie already revealed. Remember to meet activation condition requirements it needs to reveal. However, if the card is already revealed, then it fails to meet activation requirements. Can you give an example of a card that can stop the danger? Archetype. Of course. The cards in question, as you can see in front of you, are called the Eye of Truth and Ceremonial Bell, respectively. Let's first go over the continuous trap, the Eye of Truth, with its effect, which states, your opponent must keep their hand revealed. During each of your opponent's standby phases, if they have a spell card in their hand, they gain 1,000 life points. Let's go to Ceremonial Bell. That monster effect states, Both players must keep their hands revealed. Please remember the activation condition for the danger. Archetype is to first reveal themselves, then activate their respective effect. However, if the dangers are already revealed, then they cannot meet activation requirements, thus they cannot activate. This reveal effect status applies to any effect that has reveal as an effect. The activation condition must be met first, otherwise the card in question cannot activate. Can you explain to me how the word look works in Yu-Gi-Oh? Here is where things differ quite a bit, so your opponent shows you the specified area that is mentioned in the effect, then the effect applies relating to the effect area specified. The look effect area still applies when the effect is active and only immediately expires if the card is negated or fails to meet activation condition requirements. Whereas, the reveal effect involves revealing the card in question for its activation, then the card goes back to its previous state. Could you provide me an example, please, so I can better understand this concept? Time for some examples of cards with the look effect. Start a first with the card D, D, designator. The effect states, declare one card name, Look at your opponent's hand and if they have the declared card in their hand, remove from play that one card. If they do not have the declared card in their hand, remove from play one random card in your hand. Next card in question, Old Mind. The effect states, Look at one random card in your opponent's hand, then apply one of the following effects. Discard both that opponent's card and one card from your hand of the same type, monster, spell, or trap, then add this card from the field to your opponent's hand, and if you do, draw one card. Lose 1,000 life points. You can only activate one old mind per turn. Here is the funny thing. Even though the specifications of the look area effect and reveal effect are different, their activation condition requirements are the same. Both effects need to look or reveal respectively to meet activation requirements. If for whatever reason the cards are revealed, then they fail to meet activation requirements. Here is a simple example. Player 1 summons Ceremonial Bell, sets two cards, then ends the turn with two cards in hand. Player 2 at main phase attempts to activate D.D .D Designator, but can't, cause both players' hands are revealed. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Thank you. I can now understand how Look and Reveal works in Yu-Gi-Oh! Don't mention it. Remember to ask me any questions related to Yu-Gi-Oh! We come to the end of this video. So, as I like to say, you are one step closer to becoming a Yu-Gi-Oh! Master. My fate, right, is in your hands. 